Welcome to all lists. If you enjoy our videos, please make sure to subscribe and don't miss any new videos by clicking the bell button. Have you thought of visiting Albania and get a taste of its amazing food, art and music, great places to go and socialize? Today we're counting down the top places to visit in Albania. But, before moving on to that, we think it's useful to know a few things about visiting it. Weather. In Albania the climate is Mediterranean on the coast, with mild, rainy winters and hot, sunny summers, while it becomes slightly more continental in the interior, though it becomes really cold only in mountain areas. Along the coast, the climate is milder, with less chance of cold nights in winter, and more effective afternoon breezes in summer. In the cities located in the plains, bit further from the sea, or those sheltered by mountain ranges, such as Škoda, the climate becomes slightly more continental, that is, a bit colder in winter, with January averages around 5 degrees Celsius, or, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, and hotter in summer with highs often around 35 degrees Celsius, or, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving inland, and with increasing altitude, the climate becomes much harsher, with cold and snowy winters, and progressively cooler summers. For instance, in Corsa, located in the east, 900 meters, 2950 feet, above sea level, the average temperature goes from 0.5 degrees Celsius, or, 33 degrees Fahrenheit, in January, to 21 degrees Celsius, or, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, in August. The temperature of the sea is still a little cool for swimming in June, while it becomes acceptable or pleasant from July to September. When to visit? The best time to visit the Albanian coast for swimming and sunbathing, is summer, in July and August the sun always shines and the Adriatic Sea is warm. To visit the cities in the plains, such as Tirana or Škoda, considering that they can be hot in summer, you can choose the months of May, June and September. October has pleasant temperatures too, but it can be quite rainy, especially in the second part. September a month in which the sea is slightly warmer than in June, may therefore be an interesting choice, to visit all of the country and at the same time take some rest at the beach. Safety Avoid non-essential travel to the city of Lazaret, where Albanian state police and armed marijuana growers have in the past engaged in violent altercations and where police assistance and protection are limited. Until 2014, the city of Lazaret and its surrounding areas was a major marijuana producing region where violent clashes between police and marijuana producers occurred regularly. Although the situation has recently improved, police assistance and protection remains limited, and response times are often delayed. Women should exercise caution when traveling alone. Avoid secluded areas, parks, bars and restaurants in remote areas, especially after dark. Crime Petty crime, such as pickpocketing and bag snatching, occurs, particularly on public transportation and in tourist areas. Theft from vehicles is common. Never leave personal belongings unattended in a vehicle, and use secure parking facilities, especially overnight. Be vigilant in the northern districts of Haz, Kukus and Tropica. Criminal gangs operate along roads in remote areas, especially in areas bordering Kosovo, Macedonia and Montenegro. Use caution in areas bordering Macedonia, where security is very poor. Economic hardship and easy availability of firearms increase the risk of violent incidents looting and carjacking particularly in the Tropaja district and its largest town, Bajram Kari. However, 
These actions do not typically involve tourists. Violent confrontations between rival organized criminal gangs can also occur. Small explosive devices have been used in targeted attacks, including in Tirana as recently as February 2015. These incidents are normally attributed to internal disputes of a personal, business or political nature. Terrorism There is a threat of terrorism in Europe. Terrorist attacks have occurred in a number of European cities and there is a potential for other violent incidents, which could target areas frequented by expatriates and foreign travelers. Continue to exercise normal security precautions. Demonstrations Demonstrations occur in many Albanian centers, often with little or no advance warning, and have the potential to suddenly turn violent. They can lead to significant disruptions to traffic and public transportation. Avoid all demonstrations and large gatherings, follow the advice of local authorities and monitor local media. Road safety. Travel by road can be hazardous and difficult. Road signage and road safety are poor throughout the country. Drivers are aggressive and reckless and pedestrians are often found walking along the sides of roads, including on major highways. Major roads are passable, but secondary roads are often poorly maintained. Use a four-wheel drive vehicle, even in urban centers. In winter, you may encounter dangerous snow and ice conditions on poorly maintained mountainous roads in northern and southeastern Albania. Power outages can also affect street lighting and traffic signals. Wait for police to arrive if you are involved in a road accident, even a minor one. Car rental companies are available in the main cities and offer a variety of services and vehicles. If possible, hire local drivers or taxis. Approved, privately owned vehicles, with drivers, can be hired for travel throughout the country. Pre-negotiate fares and schedules. Travel outside the capital should be carefully planned and undertaken with the assistance of a reputable guide interpreter or driver. Public transportation. Use only yellow taxis, which are normally parked at street corners in specific areas. Taxis only accept cash payment. Buses, minibuses and trains operate between most major cities, but are unreliable. Uncomfortable and safety standards are poor. Landmines. Landmines and unexploded ordnance from the 1999 Kosovo War remain, particularly in hill towns along Albania's northeastern border with Kosovo. These areas are clearly identified in Albanian as danger zones or are surrounded by visible tape. Remain on paved roads and avoid ditches, open fields and the shoulders of roads. General safety information. Exercise normal safety precautions. Ensure that your personal belongings, including passports and travel documents, are secure at all times. Avoid showing signs of affluence and carrying large sums of cash on you. Power cuts occur frequently throughout Albania, in remote areas as well as in main cities. For your safety, Always carry a flashlight while walking on the streets. Make arrangements for your well-being during outages and verify the schedule of power cuts with local authorities. Tourist facilities are not well developed, and many goods and services are not available. Routine vaccines. Be sure that your routine vaccines, as per your territory, are up to date regardless of your travel destination. Some of these vaccines include, measles mumps rubella, MMR, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, varicella, chickenpox, influenza and others. Vaccines to consider. You may be at risk for these vaccine preventable diseases while traveling in this country. Talk to your travel health provider about which ones are right for you. In Albania you are at risk for. Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B, Influenza, Measles, Rabies, Tick-Borne Encephalitis, Yellow Fever, 
food and waterborne diseases. Travelers to any destination in the world can develop traveler's diarrhea from consuming contaminated water or food. In some areas in southern Europe, food and water can also carry diseases like hepatitis A. Practice safe food and water precautions while traveling in southern Europe. When in doubt, remember, boil it, cook it, peel it, or leave it. Insects and illness? In some areas in southern Europe, certain insects carry and spread diseases like Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, leishmaniasis, Lyme disease, tick-borne encephalitis and West Nile virus. Animals and illness? Travelers are cautioned to avoid contact with animals, including dogs, snakes, rodents, birds, and bats. Some infections found in southern Europe like rabies, can be shared between humans and animals, person-to-person -person infections. Crowded conditions can increase your risk of certain illnesses. Remember to wash your hands often and practice proper cough and sneeze etiquette to avoid colds, the flu and other illnesses, medical services and facilities. It is best to avoid government hospitals which often lack basic drugs and equipment and have poor hygiene standards. Dental facilities are available, but standards of dental care may differ from those in Western countries. Evacuation, which is very expensive, may be necessary in the event of serious illness or injury. Make sure you have travel insurance that covers all medical expenses in case of illness or injury including hospitalization abroad and medical evacuation. Keep in mind. The decision to travel is the sole responsibility of the traveler. The traveler is also responsible for his or her own personal safety. Be prepared. Do not expect medical services to be the same as in Western countries. Pack a travel health kit especially if you will be traveling away from major city centers, illegal drugs. Penalties for possession, use or trafficking of illegal drugs are strict. Convicted offenders can expect jail sentences and heavy fines, illegal activities. Do not photograph military installations or personnel without proper permission as it is illegal, charges may be laid or cameras may be confiscated. LGBT travelers. Although the laws of Albania don't prohibit sexual acts between individuals of the same sex, homosexuality is not socially tolerated. Same-sex marriages are not recognized in Albania. Driving. An international driving permit is required as a supplement to a valid driver's license. Laws against drinking and driving are strictly enforced. The legal alcohol limit is 0.05%. The use of cellular phones while driving is prohibited. Police have taken drastic measures to decrease the number of accidents. Respect speed limits and the rules of the road to avoid heavy fines and confiscation of your driver's license. Money. The currency of Albania is the lek, all. The euro is used as a benchmark for the currency. The economy is primarily cash-based. You should carry some cash, because travelers' checks and credit cards are not widely accepted. International hotels in Tirana accept American Express, Visa, Diners Club and MasterCard. Automated banking machines are widely available in Tirana. Travelers' checks and eurocheques can be exchanged at the National Bank of Albania in Tirana. US dollars and Swiss francs are also accepted. Natural disasters and climate. Flooding. Floods may occur during winter, particularly in northern Albania. Exercise caution, monitor media and follow the advice of local authorities. Seismic activity. Albania is located in an active seismic zone and experiences an average of one earthquake per year, 3.2 to 4.0 on the Richter scale.
If you still want to visit Albania, the top places to visit are 1. Gjurakastra A UNESCO city, Gjurakastra is without a doubt one of the best places to visit in Albania. Unique Ottoman period architecture, with houses designed like small castles, can be found all over Gjurakastra which is a military museum and art gallery in its amazing castle that dominates the skyline. A folklore festival also takes place in Gjurakastra's castle every five years the last one was in 2015. Visiting the old Ottoman bazaar in Gjurakastra should be on the agenda for anyone visiting this part of the country. Gjurakastra is famous as the birthplace of world-renowned author Ismail Kader and Albania's former dictator Enver Hodza. Today their old homes are museums. 2. Feth Away from Albania's biggest cities, in the north of the country, is Feth, located high in the Albanian Alps. Theth is a designated area of outstanding natural beauty and it is easy to see why. Theth National Park is perhaps the most beautiful place in all of Albania, with its Krunas waterfall and the Loch in Tower both extremely popular with visitors. The mountain peaks of Thethi, Boga, Razma and Vermoshi provide an unforgettable experience of Albania in its most natural state. Hikers and nature lovers will find Theth to be one of the best places to visit during a trip to Albania. 3. Durs Albania's main port, Durs is also one of the nation's oldest cities. Durs is most famous for being home to the biggest amphitheater in the Balkans, while the unspoiled northern coastal stretch of Lalzat Bay is one of Albania's most beautiful places to visit. Tourists should consider taking time out of their schedules to visit the Durs Archaeological Museum, the Alexander Moiseu Theatre and the Royal Villa of Durs during their time in the second largest city in Albania. Many cultural events and feastings are held in Durs throughout the year, while the city is also the birthplace of Buja Nishani the current president of Albania. 4. Lake Kaman For the most breathtaking scenery in the entire Balkans, visiting Lake Kaman in Albania should be on anyone's bucket list. Often described as one of the world's great boat trips, the journey takes visitors from the hydroelectric dam at Kaman to the port of Fiza. While the locals that use the boat regularly may now take the rugged beauty of the Albanian mountains for granted, any first-time visitor will find the sights from the Lake Kaman ferry to be truly jaw-dropping. The trip on the ferry is also a great opportunity to see what life is like for many Albanians in remote areas. 5. Pogradek one of the most up-and-coming places to visit in Albania is Pogradek, which can be found on the shores of Lake Orid in the east of the nation. Lake Orid is the deepest lake in the Balkan region and while the Macedonian side of the lake is more popular, Albania's shore is definitely on the up. Pogradek is famous for its rich folklore, while its puppet theatre festival is one of the most interesting events on Albania's tourism calendar. The stunning Shebenik Jablanus National Park is around 30-45 minutes away from Pogradek as well, while the springs of Drilin are also close. 6. Barat The city of Barat is located at the river Ozum in the middle of the country. In the past it was built as a castle and it is erected at a hill. At this hill there can be found the original castle named Kalaja. The castle contains a district with numerous churches and mosques and is well worth seeing. Barat is also called the City of Thousand Windows because the typical houses have large window frontages. These windows design the skyline of the city. The white houses are listed buildings to keep the original appearance of the city. 
In 1961 Bharat was elected city of museums and therefore is a great destination for those loving history and culture. The surrounding of the city offers some small villages and typical countryside that can also be visited on a trip. 7. Apollonia Next to the city of Thur in the middle of Albania one can find the ruins of an ancient town named after the god Apollon. Apollonia was the biggest and most important city in the ancient world. The ruins are still impressing and show a little piece of the original glory. Libraries, temples, theaters and other buildings can be visited, as well as a triumphal arch and rotted mansions. The historical place is very impressing. The view from the hills to the country is worth it as well. 8. Shkodra Shkodra is a city in the north of Albania and the fifth largest city of the country. It is located at the Lake Scutari at the border to Montenegro. Shkodra is affected by many battles and conquests, from the Romans as well as from different aristocratic families. After recovering from the hard battles the city rises to an important trading center and has a distinctive culture till today. The town's landmark is the ruin of Castle Rosifa. Recording to a tragic legend the castle was built by three brothers. Every night the walls of the castle came tumbling down. One day an old man told them to lure a woman into the walls, then they would never collapse and resist all enemies. The brothers agreed to sacrifice the wife that would bring food for them the next day. Two of the brothers told their women, so the third arrived alone the next day. She therefore was mured, but asked if they could keep out one arm, leg and breast to keep on feeding and hugging her child. The castle can be visited as well as a museum about the past of the city. 9. Xamal Xamal, 17 km south of Saranda, has three small, dreamy islands within swimming distance of shore and dozens of beachside bars and restaurants that open in the summer. 10. Butterant Butterant is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that rightfully deserves the honor. It's been ruled by Romans, Venetians, Byzantines, and Ottomans all of whom have left their mark on Butrint. The ancient ruins of Butrint, 18 kilometers south of Saranda, are famed for their size, beauty and tranquility. They're in a fantastic natural setting and are part of a 29 square kilometers national park. The remains, Albania's finest, are from a variety of periods, spanning 2,500 years. Set aside at least two hours to explore. The fortifications bear testimony to the different stages of their construction from the time of the Greek colony until the Middle Ages. The most interesting ancient Greek monument is the theater which is fairly well preserved. The major ruin from the Pallia Christian era is the Baptistery, an ancient Roman monument adapted to the cultural needs of Christianity. Its floor has a beautiful mosaic decoration. The Pallia Christian Basilica was rebuilt in the 9th century and the ruins are sufficiently well preserved to permit analysis of the structure. Three naves with a transept and an exterior polygonal apse. 11. Valbona A wild, high, mountainous region inhabited by strong and fiercely independent people. The Malersias for the history of Albania being the region which was never really conquered or subdued by the various waves of invaders during the last 2000 years of Balkan history. The name Valbona is used to refer to the Valbona River, which in turn flows through the valley bearing its name, and a small village in the valley, as well the general area informally. 12. Jaip Beach Beautiful beach, but better than the beach itself is a canyon behind it. Little hike inside, and you can feel like you are an Indiana Jones movie. You can also camp there, 
Tents can be rented from the beach. There is a lady asking money for parking, but she is not actually allowed to do that. It's not much, but if you don't want to pay for extra, you can ask her for coupon. If she can't get that, you don't have to pay. Check out new videos and subscribe below.